In this how-to video, we are going to show you how to break down and clean your Sig Sauer P365. This is a weapon, so let's first make sure that it's unloaded before breaking it apart and cleaning it. Push the slide back and lock it open with the slide lock. Check that it is not loaded. Spin the takedown lever clockwise 90 degrees to the 6 o'clock position. Release the slide lock and pull the slide off the grip module. Push the guide rod and spring forward and then remove it. You can now grab the barrel by the lug and pull it out. You'll want to use some type of parts tray in order to keep all the small parts organized while also giving you the ability to soak those parts in some CLP. Place the barrel, guide rod, and spring in the parts tray. Now let's grab some CLP and spray everything down. Make sure to get a few squirts inside the bore as well. Grab the slide and give it a few squirts. Make sure to angle it downwards as shown here, as you don't want to get CLP in the striker channel if you can help it. A few sprays on the interior of the grip module as well. We'll grab the rest of our gun cleaning supplies and let the CLP sit and do its work on your firearm. Some supplies you'll want to help make your life easy will be some bristle pipe cleaners for cleaning the slide channels and hard to reach areas, some high quality firearm grease, long stemmed cotton swabs, a strong cleaning cloth that won't tear, and finally a brush and pick set is invaluable for breaking apart carbon and other contaminants. We'll leave a list in the description of what we recommend. Grab a nylon brush and get to work on the grip module. Try to hit everything, but especially look for any place that looks like it might have carbon deposits. Pay attention to the rails. If you have a nylon brush with a smaller end, this is a great spot to use it. Get in the mag well and give that a quick scrub. Now that the slide has been sitting in the CLP for a little bit, grab that and get to work on it. Everything needs to be scrubbed, but pay special attention to the breech face as well as the extractor, which is right there. That little part extracts the shell, so you'll want to make sure that it is clean to ensure proper ejection. Grab the spring and guide rod and brush that as well. Make sure to spin it and get all sides. After that, all that is left is the barrel. Brush down all outside surfaces. We'll worry about the bore later. For now, concentrate on the exterior. After that, we'll use the bristle pipe cleaner to get to any areas that the brush could. These fit perfect in the rails, the extractor, and any other areas where a push and pull method worked better than the scrubbing motion of a brush. After that, we'll use the long stem cotton swabs to mop up any carbon or debris that the previous method broke loose. This is a perfect way to get into those hard to reach areas. Okay, now that that is finished, grab a 9mm bore cleaning kit so we can take care of the firearm's bore. You could use the bore cleaning kit while the firearm is assembled for a quick field cleaning, but since we broke everything down already, we'll use it while the firearm is disassembled. Send the weight down the chamber end of the bore. Pull the whole unit through. One swipe usually takes care of it. Now, we'll give everything a wipe down with our cleaning cloth. Make sure to pay attention to all surfaces, interior and exterior. We devise against using paper towels here, as they tend to tear and break apart. Something that's tough and reusable is ideal. Lastly, you can send the cloth through the mag well to make sure that there's no residual CLP in there. You grab your CLP and give the barrel a spray as well as the inside of the slide to make sure that it's properly lubricated. If you're really putting the rounds through your gun, it might be a good idea to use some high quality firearm grease as well. In most cases, the CLP will take care of the lubricating, but for those with an endless stream of ammunition, this might be the way to go. Hit the wear spots you see on the lug, then run a bead down the barrel. A swab works well to disperse the grease. Alternatively, a finger will work. Then concentrate on lubricating the slide. Any area you see where you want to get some grease on it. Make sure to get some on the rails as well. This is where a cotton swab is worth its weight in gold. Smooth all the grease out. Now for the simple and quick reassembly. Place the barrel back into the slide. Now you want to reinstall the guide rod and spring. Once that's in there, slide the slide back on the grip module. Push it all the way back and lock it in the place with the slide catch lever. This will typically rotate the takedown lever automatically. If it doesn't, manually rotate it 90 degrees counterclockwise. And that's it, you're all set. 
Sitting before you is a fully cleaned and lubricated 6-hour P365. Sage and Breaker. Crafted at the highest caliber.